Melissa Etheridge is opening up about her pot use in a new Yahoo documentary, Weed and the American Family. In it, the Grammy Award-winning singer-songwriter says she's been smoking marijuana recreationally since she was 21, but discovered the drug has medicinal properties when she underwent chemo as she battled breast cancer in 2004, and she's shared it with her adult children. In the documentary, Etheridge, 55, revealed that she's smoked pot with her two oldest kids, Bailey Jean, 20, and Beckett. 18. It was strange, she said. It was funny at first, and then they realized it's very natural, at the, end of the day. It brings you closer. I'd much rather have a smoke with my grown kids than a drink. But for Etheridge, who has her own line of cannabis products called Etheridge Farms, said it isn't just about relaxation. The drug has also helped her marriage and worked as a medicinal aide since her breast cancer diagnosis in 2004. According to the musician, the key is removing the stigma attached to the drug, and making it clear that it's okay to partake in an accepting environment. Etheridge says in the documentary that all four of her children understand cannabis. They call it medicine. She says that she doesn't make it a habit to smoke in front of them, but they've caught her on occasion. They ask, is that cigarettes? And I have to be very, very clear with them that it's not cigarettes. There's a difference between cigarettes and cannabis, she says. Yes, this is a smoke, but cannabis is medicine, and they completely understand cannabis is medicine. There's no need to hide it. It's normalized at home. Being open with your family about your medical history and needs is important, but experts say marijuana use in young adults can be potentially dangerous. The Grammy-winning singer-songwriter has been a strong advocate for medicinal cannabis since it helped her get through chemotherapy for breast cancer in 2004. The legalization of cannabis is a human right. It is a civil right. This is medicine, she told High Times magazine last year. She's intent on putting an end to the reefer madness-esque stigma that still lingers today. I would hope that in the future, 10 years from now, that there would be households that felt this was a holistic choice. Or at the very least, not have a fear of what a plant medicine can do with your body, she said. Health is a civil right.